All right, we'll move to uh, public comment. Um, to our guests today, welcome and thank you for your interest in the University of California and for taking the time to be here. The regents uh, appreciate your observations and comments. It's important to hear from the public on issues concerning the University of California. Liz, please proceed with your comment. Yes. Uh, before I begin, I'd like to congratulate Dr. Drake on his position. Hi, my name is Liz Rocha, and my comment is specifically to exhort the regents of the University of California to address the ethical issues within the University of California, San Francisco. There are records uh, with the NIH since 2006 to deliver uh, two pristine fetuses each month for research. Now, we know that the methods of organ procurement present a huge ethical concern and should present, uh, frankly, a pressing concern to any serious researcher, especially researchers in a fine institution such as this one. The two ways in which organs are procured are through live dismemberment and labor induction. Unfortunately, we know that the latter can result in up to 50% of preterm babies born alive, according to the Society for Ethical Planning. In light with ethics codes such as the Belmont Report, we know that this is a blatant violation of the principle of justice. Regents, please answer, what safeguards are in place for ensuring that babies aren't born alive? Or if, the, if they are, they are given the proper health care to ensure that infanticide is not committed on them for the sake of research? And I'm will UCSF comply with the Public Records Act? Uh, it's chilling, I understand, but we simply cannot allow the principles of justice and respect for persons to be violated in the name of so-called research. Okay. We cannot go back to a world in which those with diminished autonomy and diminished consent are sacrificed in the name of progress. I hope you'll stand with me, Regents. I really do. I wish you'll share my vision for this future. And Dr. Drake, once again, congratulations. And I hope you'll stand by us. Thank you. My name is Robert Bird. Um, I'd like to congratulate Dr. Michael Drake for his appointment as UC president and to urge him to, to take his position as the UC leader seriously in terms of the medical ethics, or lack thereof, I should say, at the University of California, San Francisco. I am going to read a few quotes from medical journal articles published by UCSF researchers. Fertile Sertal Journal, 2014. Human 22 through 23 week of gestation fetal testes were obtained following elective termination of pregnancy. None of the terminations were for reasons of fetal abnormality, and all fetuses appeared to be morphologically normal. Here's another quote. Differentiation Journal, 2018. The Committee of Human Research at UCSF approved the collection of human fetal specimens after elective termination of pregnancy. Fetal age was estimated using heel-to-toe length. There are several projects at UCSF that create this unnecessary dependency on fetal organs. Thank you. Even just another Lance, please proceed with your comment. Okay, yes. Today I'd like to give brief testimony and thanks to our World War II heroes, to the greatest generation. Certainly we can't remember them too often. Give thanks and testimony to the thousands who died June 6, 1944 on Omaha Beach, Utah Beach, later to Battle of the Bulge, to save us from the horrors of Nazism and to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Yes, to life. Today we have the National Institute for Health-funded program at UCSF involving organ harvesting for live babies in the womb without anesthesia even provided to the babies. Certainly none of our World War II heroes would even begin to condone this. How can this be happening in the country they saved for us? Please let everyone join together to end this. Thank you for your time. 